Habibis, welcome back to my channel. Today is another perfume video. I've been loving making these videos, so I hope you guys like them as well. Today's video is going to be all about the perfumes that I want to purchase eventually. These are the perfumes that I'm gonna get for special occasions or just to treat myself. Also, I do have a giveaway on a perfume going on right now. In my last video, I mentioned it, so make sure to check out that last video, and I will leave everything in the description down below. Whoever wants to enter, you will win this perfume over here, which is so, so beautiful. It's Gucci Bloom. If you guys are interested in seeing the perfumes that I'm going to eventually pick up and invest my money in, and you guys like the perfumes that I've mentioned in the past, then stick around and keep on watching. The first one I wanted to mention is Carolina Herrera Good Girl. It's the original o ED EDP. <laughs> I can't talk. The one that comes in the shoe. It's so nice. There's another one that's a little bit lighter. I believe it's EDT. I'm thinking of getting the EDP just because it'll last me a lot longer. So the notes in that one are tuberose, jasmine, sambac, cocoa, and tonka bean. This one's a really nice one because it's a very mature, sweeter floral fragrance. Definitely has that floral hint to it. It's really beautiful beautiful. It's one that you could wear any time of day and not have to worry about who you're hugging and who you're touching. It's not an overwhelming kind of scent. It's also very aesthetically pleasing. Probably out of all the perfumes I have, that would be the most beautiful bottle. So it's a really nice addition if you're into packaging alone, but definitely the fragrance is absolutely stunning. I smell that jasmine and you guys know how I feel about jasmine and the cocoa gives it that like sweetness and that sexiness, that warmness that I really like in fragrances. Another one that smells so very much up my alley, and I do have this in the body butter. This is the Sol de Janeiro um, EDP perfume. They just came out with the perfume. They've had the body spray before. I've ordered it, and I had to return it just because I drenched myself in it, and it, you can't smell it in about 10 minutes. So that did not work out for me, even if I layered it with the lotion. So I returned that one. So I do want to eventually pick up the perfume, but I've heard mixed reviews online just because people say that this one doesn't last on them as long just like the other one and it's an EDP so I don't know but maybe I'll spray it when the Sephora stores open and then decide how it lasts on me by the end of the day if I'm gonna end up picking it up but the notes for this one it says on Sephora it's warm and spicy and then the scent type it says warm and sweet gourmands it has salted caramel pistachio and vanilla love pistachio salted caramel who doesn't like salted caramel and vanilla gives it that sweetness but it's not overly sweet the body butter is absolutely magnificent it's my favorite lotion that i've ever tried it's not greasy and it smells amazing and the lotion the smell does linger on me so i love it I do want to pick up the perfume eventually, but I'll definitely try it out before I do that. The next one I really want is by Dolce & Gabbana. It's called The Only One, and it's an EDP, and here it's described on Sephora as warm and spicy. It has warm and sweet gourmand, and the notes are citrus, violet, and coffee. This one really, really reminds me of Giorgio Armani C, which I've had in the past, and I've completely finished it. So instead of getting C again, I'll probably get this one instead. It really smells very very similar to me again scents aren't the same for everybody what I smell won't smell the same on you so I highly recommend you go in store and smell it but if you like Giorgio Armani C this one's very similar and it's a very mature sweet fragrance um, I definitely smell that coffee in it it's just like that warm the warmness in it it's a sweet gourmand Duh. it's a warm sweet gourmand it says, the only one captures the essence of sophisticated and hypnotizing femininity. Femininity. <laughs> I can't say that word. The next one is by Replica, and it's in the scent Jazz. This one says warm and spicy, and the scent type is woody spices. And you guys know how much I like that, like more mature, woody kind of fragrances, not too, too floral, um, just on my skin tone, not skin tone. <laughs> skin type. So the keynotes for this one are pink pepper, rum absolute, and tobacco leaf absolute. This one's really hard to describe. Here it says the perfume brims with the sweet notes of open uh, cigar boxes, old leather bar stools, and fine aged liquor. Um, I can't say any more about it just because I feel like that's the best way they've described it is the right way. I've tried it on once. I loved how it smelled because of that sweetness and you can smell it at the end of the night. That woody kind of sexy alcohol, I guess, cigar boxes, leather 
aged liquor smell is just very intriguing to me so I really really like that one I guess the, it's the rum absolute the next one I want to pick up is from Lancome it's the La Via Belle this one's a very very popular perfume a lot of people talk about this one for good reason it's described as warm and spicy it's a warm sweet gourmand perfume what's new the keynotes are iris vanilla and praline um, it says la via belle a french expression meaning life is beautiful is expressed in the form of an exceptional eau de perfume joyful femininity and happiness the vanilla you can smell the sweetness sweetness in it but the iris gives it that really mature floral so it's a very sweet floral mature fragrance in my opinion a lot of different age groups like this perfume this one's a really good one for a gift as well i don't think you can go wrong with this one it's a perfect in between not too sweet not too floral and then no freshness in it the next one ooh, i really really love this one i'm surprised i don't have this one in my collection i guess it's because it's so expensive it's a victor and ralph perfume and you guys know how expensive those are this one is in bonbon scent type is fruity floral and the keynotes are caramel mandarin and orange blossom orange blossom the top of my list of favorite notes and then keynotes are caramel and that caramel is what I like in the Sol de Janeiro one it's very sweet it's not like a vanilla over in your face kind of sweet fragrance and then the mandarin gives it that really nice citrus note in it fruity floral and I love this one this one is one that is usually sold out in stores because a lot of people just love this one for good reason and the bottle is freaking adorable it's a bow it's up there with the Carolina Herrera shoe really nice to add to your collection just for aesthetically pleasing purposes so I really really want that one that one's so good I really want all of them but anyways <laughs> I can't help but saying that because I see the picture now and I'm like oh my god why don't I have you um it's a very sweet fragrance it would probably be one that would be in my last video my cozy fragrances the next one I'm really excited to get is the YSL Black Opium. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, very sexy, sensual fragrance. It says it's warm and spicy, warm, sweet gourmands. The keynotes are black coffee, white flower, and vanilla. This is a perfume that I smell and it just smells very intoxicating. The white flower, I don't know how white flower smells, but this one smells amazing, so it smells good to me. It's not too overly floral. Oh, it also says it's very seductive, intoxicating. I was right. <laughs> I used those words before I even read it. It's very expensive smelling. And then last but not least, I wanted to end off with an Ellie Sab perfume because this one's absolutely amazing. This one is called White Fragrance. So Ellie Sab Le Perfume in White Fragrance. So the top notes are red fruits and orange blossom. Heart notes are jasmine and base notes are white musk and patchouli. If you've watched my other videos, you know how I love those notes. The patchouli is absolutely up my alley. The white musk, it's just warm and sexy, but very, very mature in that sweetness range, but not overly sweet. It doesn't have any freshness in it either. Um, and then just maybe a hint of floral, but definitely a lot more on um, the sweeter side, but really beautiful like a musky sweet um, scent and that is it you guys i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video those are all the fragrances that i will eventually pick up and add to my collection i'd really appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up so i know that these are the videos that you guys like to watch make sure to hit the bell button so you know every single time that i'm posting on youtube because i will upload every single week i really hope that you guys are having a great day and i will see you guys in the next one bye